And in our other top stories tonight, his execution was inevitable. But not anymore. Today, Ron Lafferty passed away from natural causes while on death row. He was convicted of a double homicide back in 1984 and has been appealing the ruling for more than three decades. For every crime, there's a story, and the truth matters. Here's ABC 4's Marcus Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Those who happened to be in Ron Lafferty's inner circle knew his health was failing. And while he did avoid execution, the family of his victims are just glad to be done with him. Our family is grateful and we feel like it's just as well that uh, he passed on his own. According to Sharon Weeks, Ron Lafferty was in a wheelchair and had a caretaker during his last year in prison. She wasn't surprised he passed away. I do know that he was frail and had been for some time, that he had not been feeling well. I don't believe that he has been able to walk for a while. In 1984, her sister Brenda Lafferty and her young daughter Erica were brutally murdered by the Lafferty brothers. Both were convicted of the murders, but Dan Lafferty's life was spared and is serving a life sentence. But a different jury ordered Ron Lafferty to die. He chose the firing squad. The brothers were members of a fundamentalist religious group called the School of Prophet, and Lafferty claimed to have received a divine revelation to eliminate those who stood in the way. Prophecies are about to be fulfilled. Yes, I think I, I, think I noted that as a revelation that I'd received uh, when I was in the School of the Prophets, yes. And you still believe it was from God? Uh, I don't have any problem with that. But in that same prison interview from years ago, Lafferty denied murdering Brenda. Why would they execute me? They have no grounds whatsoever. I'm innocent of all their stupid charges. You didn't kill Brenda Lafferty? I never, I've never, I never admitted to that, no. But the jury didn't see it that way. Lafferty's appeals were nearly over. The attorney general's office claimed his execution was just months away. In the end, he avoided execution, but the sister of Brenda Lafferty doesn't feel cheated. I absolutely felt a huge amount of relief when I heard the news that he had passed because I would have preferred him to pass peacefully than to have to go through what all of us were going to have to go through. In a statement, Lafferty's own attorney said that this was someone who was suffering from mental illness and never got the proper treatment. While he was still alive, Ron Lafferty denied he was mentally ill. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.